if the ratio of father's age to son's age is 4 to 1 and the product of their ages is uh, 196, then find the ratio of their ages after 5 years. Okay, we have the ratio of the present ages of father and son that is 4 to 1. Okay, here uh, the first term of the ratio 4 refers to the present age of father and the second term 1 refers to the present age of uh, son. Okay, from the terms of this ratio, if I want to get the percentage of father and percentage of son, I have to multiply the terms of the ratio by the same non-zero number, say x. So, present age of father. So, I need to multiply the first term of the ratio 4 by x, then I will be getting 4x. Then, present age of son, I need to multiply this 1 by x, 1 times x is x. So now I got the percentages of father and son in terms of x. Okay, the question says the product of their ages is 196. Okay, now I'm going to find the product of uh, the percentages of father and son. That is uh, 4x times x, uh, which is equal to 4x squared. Since uh, the product of the ages is 196, I mean, uh, this is the information we have in the question. So we can equate 4x squared to 196. So we got the product of the percentages of father and son from the calculation 4x square. But the question says the product of the ages is 196. Since 4x square and 196 uh, represent the same stuff, we can equate them. Okay, now I have to solve for x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So this 4, 4 will cancel out. 4 goes into 4 1 times and 4 goes into 19 4 times. And I have 4 times 4 is 16. I have 3 left over in 19. So that can be taken along with the next digit, then it will become 36, 4 goes into 36, 9 times. So I get x square is equal to 49. Okay, to solve for x, I have to get rid of this x front x. For that, I have to take square root on both sides. And square root, square root cancelled, I just get x. And square root of 49 is just 7. So now I got the value of 7. Okay, if I plug in uh, x is equal to 7 into 4x, I'll be getting the percentage of further so, which is equal to 4 times 7, then 28 years uh, is the percentage of father. And to get the percentage of son, I have to plug in x is equal to 7 over here, then 7 years. So, the percentage of son is 7 years. Okay, now, uh, but the target of the question is to find the ratio of their ages after 5 years. Okay, first let's find the ages of father and son after 5 years. So after five years, uh, father's age is equal to. So at present, the age of the father is 28 years. After five years, means you have to add a 5 to 28. So 28 plus 5 is going to be 33 years. And uh, son's age. At present, the age of the son is 7 years. So to get the age of son after five years, I have to add 5 to 7. So 5 plus 7 will be 12 years. Okay, now I know the age of, ages of father and son after five years, but I have to find the ratio of their ages after five years. So now we have to do ratio between these two numbers, 33 and uh, 12. Okay, so now I got the ratio of their ages. Uh, always I have to give the ratio in simplest form. That is, if there is any uh, common divisor for both the numbers, uh, I have to divide uh, both the terms of the ratio by the common divisor. Here, both 33 and 12 are multiples of 3. So, I can divide both the terms of the ratio by 3. 3 goes into 3 1 times. 3 goes into 33 11 times. 3 goes into 3 1 times. 3 goes into 12 4 times. So, I got 11 to 4. So, the ratio uh, between the ages of father and son after 5 years will be 11 to 4.